course, you can find us we're on the MySpace, we're on the YouTube, we've got a Twitter, we even got a Facebook. Put it in the dot com slash Big Dumb Fun Show, and you will find us there. What? Come in, the mic is just like. It's Royal Man. He comes in on Sundays to do his show here. I know, but then I come in, and the mic is super, really tall. Like, how yep. tall is the guy? He's, I know he's a tall like guy. Eight but foot tall. He's well, eight foot tall. With, with the crown. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. It's the crown. I think he's six foot and it's two foot of crown. Ross McGinnis in the chat room saying that America, I, I guess it's McGinnis. I just say Ross MCG. McGit, Mc, McGit. Um, they uh, said that the the uh, Geronimo was actually American paratrooper Aubrey uh, Eberhardt was credited with the uh, start of yelling Geronimo when jumping out of the plane. Some people uh, in his platoon joked that he was going to be so scared that uh, he <laughs> that he remember his name. He wouldn't be scared to prove that he would yell the name of the movie. On, okay, whatever. 1939. The guy's name was Aubrey. Was he Native American? What right was it of him to be able to yell Geronimo? Geronimo! Yeah, true. We kicked you out, by the way. Kelly, Aubrey. So. Kiss my butt! We'd be here for hours. Um, so, we are... In- we've, got, we've got like four <laughs> extra guys, so we could get this done in nearly half the time. <laughs> we, could, we could double up on that. Um, all right, so welcome back, guys. Uh, we have Collapse in studio tonight. Uh, welcome back. Uh, you, it's your your second appearance uh, on on the show, and uh, and so now you 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 popped your cherry a couple of uh, maybe a couple of months ago has it been it hasn't been too long ago but but February, February uh, you braved the cold to come in here oh yeah because it was like it was pretty cold that night and we didn't know if you guys were going to be able to stop by or not get right up on those mics guys um and then uh, no not the guy named Mike the actual microphone he's sick like that uh, uh, but anyway so you guys but uh, since then. Like a lot of stuff has been happening. I credit I credit us with that. But uh, but you got Collapse Fest coming up. That is a huge deal. That's August fifth. You want to tell us a little bit about Collapse yeah, Fest? August fifth and sixth, we're doing it. Um, we were initially going to do one night. We had so many people interested in wanting to get on the show that uh, we had to go a second night. There so, was just too much. This response was huge. Describe fest. You know the word fest. Is it is it a festival? festival? Being is it, the ticket is it outdoors? Uh, um, well, it's both. It's indoor outdoor. The Riot Room is where it's going to be at in Kansas City on Broadway. So and, you, you uh, go both ways. We've got front and backstage. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. No, we backstage. got footage. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. Well, the band response from the guys around yeah, town. Yeah, uh, All the bands, we get along with everybody. We love all the other local acts, and uh, they really uh, was a big response to it. And so that's how it became Collapse Fest. It became a two-day event. So. Oh, okay. So you, yeah. you you originally, I guess, released one day, and you're like, yes. hey, we're going to have this kind of festival. You're, you're going to exactly. headline it. And uh, you, are you going to have the CD out by then? Uh, you think? And everyone's like, uh, yeah, why's yeah, it got to be called Collapse Fest? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the CD will definitely be out by then. Um, we've Is this kind of like an opening type? Uh, um, or like yeah, a, for like us, basically. Party? Well, it's not a CD release party. What it is, this is a fundraiser. We want to buy a bus so we can go on the road, and an old school bus doesn't cost a lot of money, but we're trying to raise that. You're trying we've... to go party bus style? Exactly. Yeah, exactly, nice. man. But Absolutely. we want to travel around, and we need something that's going to do it where we all can be in one vehicle rather than taking four cars well, with yeah, today's gas prices. Well. Yeah. So, will there be but, a stripper pole? Uh, yes, yeah. there will be. Absolutely. Black lives. Uh, <laughs> on the front, a on portable the front. one. We can put it wherever we want. You know, that'd be killer. Like that would be. <laughs> it's you a just real take small it, bus. Take it around with us. I but, meant yeah. the bus. I meant the stripper pole. Oh, okay. Uh, you know what? I think you should get uh, just on that. You know, because you need some helpful, uh, friendly hints. You should go get one of those like English double decker buses. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, right? Open top on the. You know, like, hey, chicks go up at the top of the bus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Collapse Fest started, you, you got one yeah. date, and uh, uh, then you just had all your friends yeah. came out, and you're like, oh man, we want to be a part of this, we want to be a part of yeah, this. Yeah, all our brother bands. Let's do two and, dates. Yeah, yeah, a lot a of lot brother of bands. bands. There um, were a lot of bands that we had responses from that wanted to play the show that yeah. we just couldn't get in. Yeah. We've, we've currently got 24 or 25 bands uh, booked. We're playing both nights. Uh, we're headlining the second night to close it out. The first night we're just playing somewhere in the middle, you know, along with everybody. But we've got front and backstage open, so you won't miss anything. There's something going on in both stages, you know. When one's shutting down, the other one's firing up. And uh, so we're going to run, I believe it is 13 bands. We're included in the 13, but uh, each night, so now, we're just going to be. Now, is this something that uh, you've done ton before? Of entertainment. Or you have experience no, doing it's this? No, it's our first like experience. A, it's our first production. <laughs> it's so, our yeah, first we're experience. Just now yeah, we're into the production, and we 
it almost happened by chance. Initially, yeah, it's yeah. a fundraiser for the bus, but uh, the support from the bands, because we're a band booking a show, yeah. they're freaking out. They want in. They want more. They want us to do more shows. Now, do they, they want, want to cut to this, or they, they want to cut the bus money? Or? Um, basically, they know they're helping us out, but in return, we're going to help them out um, yeah, any so way we not, can. Yeah, yeah we'll go to any yeah. of their shows for free and play or whatever. They're going to get some money out of it. You're the like, deal. hey, you need some help moving those cases? Uh-huh. <laughs> what, whatever we can do to help them in the future like, um, bus, for their maybe support. We can it. For their support, because it's, come with us on the road. Any yeah. local band knows it's not getting rich. You're playing for free 99 percent of the time. Yeah. So to play for free for a band versus a promoter, you know, versus yeah. something like that, that's that's killer. Yeah, you know, yeah, people we are, are a band for the, the band. bands. The band yes, that's our new model. Yes. That, that's, your, that's your political platform. Yeah, well, absolutely, man. <laughs> yeah. Can you get a phone call. Somebody trying to talk to Collapse. I don't know. Let's, Let's see. see if we can get him on the phone. Hello, you're on the Big Dumb Fun Show with Collapse. Hello. Uh, I was wanting to holler at Billy. Someone's wanting to holler at Billy. Billy, you're up. You'll need those phones, Billy. Somebody oh, wants Billy, to talk to Billy you. the guitar. Hey, who's this? Yeah, this is Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy, how you doing tonight? All right. Uh, I've heard you around, and to me, you sound like one of the best guitarists I've ever heard. I mean, you... Compared to Zach Wild, uh, Steve Vai, you know. Hey, thanks a lot. Pretty damn what, what, good, that's, pretty that's, kick ass. What's so. your name? What's your name? Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy, how much did Billy have to pay you to call in tonight? <laughs> <laughs> how much what? How much did they have to pay no, for you to I, call in tonight? I, I've been, I've been following these guys, and they're pretty kick ass. I mean, cool. Yeah, I've seen them at the up, down, everywhere, and they're, they're good. Yeah, and I can't yeah. wait for their little. Well, uh, well, I tell you what, Jeremy, thing they got if, you coming really, up. if you really uh, like Billy's guitar playing that well, you can actually go and vote for him on Project Backstage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we had a big the Project Backstage, Backstage going yes, on. This year can... I was nominated uh, one of the five guitar players, best metal guitar player in Kansas City. And you City. vote and every you day. you can vote for me every day up to June 1st. And who, who's the drummer you guys got? That, That's the Tim drummer Scott. you got is... That's Tim and I'm Scott. I'm telling you, the whole band is good. The singer's was, good. The drummer's now, did, big ass. I was so band. hoping oh, yeah. that Jeremy would be like, and who's the drummer? He sucks balls. <laughs> no, he's impeccable. That'd be so yeah, great that, just that to be like, Billy's excellent, man. Your drummer blows. He's hey, I drum. It. He's getting his balls sucked, but he's not <laughs> sucking balls. <laughs> that is for a fact. All right, Jeremy, thank, thank you very much for calling in. We gotta go. We gotta go. Thanks for calling. All right, have a good day. The power alive. Nice to have that. Nice to have that fan base. It's, it's, it's two of you, three people kind of following you around. Oh, they are. Yeah. So maybe, they, maybe, maybe Jeremy can drive your bus. You never know. I don't know. Maybe a roadie. <laughs> All right. What's the website you can get you guys on? Uh, we're at uh, Reverb Nation, Nation forward slash Collapse KC. Right. Well.